Here at the School for Advanced Research in Santa Fe, New Mexico, a new initiative began to essentially set the record straight. We soon realized, and others did as well, around the world, that the idea of bringing source communities together with collections was the right thing to do. The idea of building collaborations between communities and museums and their collections was a new level of engagement. And this was part of the essence of building our guidelines for communities to work with collections. This work is very important because it offers the opportunity for communities to collaborate with museums to describe with rich contextual detail the objects themselves by the people who made them and use them. It's also an opportunity for communities to inform museums about proper stewardship based on the values of the communities. Those values can be brought together with the science of curation. This work is relevant to communities because communities now are learning so much more about themselves their identity and heritage from museum collections. It's important for us to engage those collections. And I think museums are changing. Museums have to change. All things will change and will respond to society. And that museums are places that enable mediation of knowledges, but also serve as places to create a more informed citizenry. So having said that, um, we believe that museums should be thinking about how to bring life to objects, those things in their collections, by allowing them to return to their source but let the community and the museums negotiate that. It may not apply to all things. Communities may not want many things back in their communities. But let that happen. Let that negotiation happen. Where possibly things are returned on loan. Perhaps things are repatriated outright. Perhaps communities borrow things and use them and return them again. I think we're looking at a new idea around museology. Other benefits of communities building relationships with museums is creating a kind of trust with museums and the staff to enable some two-way learning. So communities can learn from the collections and learn about the field of museology and affect change and recommend change. And also museums can learn from the communities about their values around the objects in their collections, and how best to handle them. It's a two-way street. This is a paradigm shift. This is a different way of acknowledging that different knowledges exist. The guidelines are intended as a resource for communities to support them as they continue their work in collaboration with museums. These the community guidelines for communities to work with museums will serve this role of first how to contact museums, how do you react when museums contact you and all the steps from there forward based on the experience of many people working with museums, within museums, community people, community experts, and so on. It's the additive work of many of these people that has gone into building these guidelines. After communities and museums guidelines for collaboration. The next step 
will be to create guidelines for museums to work with communities. There are many workers now in museums who have not had the opportunity to work with source communities. They have great intentions and great will, but they don't have the experience. And so that will be the next thing 